And welcome back everybody to our MO7 production today. I'm here with you with another Trails in the Sky. Again, the first game. I'm not even sure I mentioned it last time, but it is the first game. We Last time we left off, we uh, made it to the farm finally. I realized I was on the wrong trail the time before last, and so on and so forth. And then um, that was of course looking for a vine beast thing, something like that. And now we're outside about to go hunt down some monsters, so let's continue the story. Wow. I, I hate reading. I mentioned that last time. I have really weird things for shifters to do when all that going into reading is, uh, especially reading aloud, is a uh, weird feeling. So let's see if I can keep doing this. <laughs> well, it's really dark out here in the countryside. Uh, there, was, no, there was no comma there. That was just me. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first, then move on to the field, stables, and greenhouse. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright. Let's go. Okay, so first, set the house first. I don't see nothing in the house, and so I'm going to check the stables. No monsters here. All right, let's keep moving. I'm talk to the cow. I can talk to the cow. I don't like the way it zoomed out over here, honestly. Makes me feel like there's something here. Next will be the fields. Awful quiet. All I hear are the bugs chirping. It doesn't look as if there's if if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey Joshua, did anyone ever tell you the story as tell you that story as a kid? You know the one about babies being born in a in a cabbage patch. Uh, no, they were. It was pelicans and storks where I live, though pelicans. Were they might as well, they'll eat baby-sized animals, so... Now oh, there's another question entirely out of the blue. And no, I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. It's definitely a new concept. <laughs> Interesting. So, ex so explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? How about we get back to work? Okay. Yeah, it uh definitely differs from region to region. Hold on, it flipped my mouth my map upside down. No wonder things didn't look right. It definitely differs region to region. We uh we always tell people pelicans and storks around here. Amazing that I learned how to have a baby. I'm not really sure what happened. She just showed up one day. My wife uh, my wife just ended up at the hospital saying she felt bad, all that, and it's uh next thing I know there's a baby there. Not sure where it came from. It was just suddenly, hey, there, there's, she's holding a baby. Well, whose baby did you steal? That's our baby. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Our baby. Whose baby did you steal? So, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm sure that's not really how it all happened. It was a much, much longer story, of course. So, um, I'm going to save that for another time when we're not doing a game that is uh, child appropriate. Now we'll, no. Maybe do that on something that we mark for 18 plus, maybe, and I may not ever talk about that because there's no need to, ever. Um, if you're watching my channel, you really should hopefully be old enough to uh, know where kids come from anyway. Because um, the whole channel is not marked for kids anyway. I have the whole channel marked for not kids, and then I have very few videos marked for 18 plus. So, let's move on to the greenhouses. Should have figured monsters wouldn't wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the ornaments sure give this place romantic <laughs> ambient. It makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You're definitely in it, still. At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Let's do the other one. Or not. That looks familiar. And I just picked some of those up. Ow. It's getting away. Hey, get back here, you little furball. 
I can still sense its presence. Trying to put on a... It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Oh good, because it's about to get caught. Now I want to see the other greenhouse. I read that. Oh, okay. Check the field. There it is. Get your butt back here. Too bad, I guess it noticed us trying to sneak up on it. I swear I'm going to catch the little bugger next time I see it. Where'd it go? Hmm. Did it make its way into the... over here? No. Gotcha! Aha. Winter storm warning expired in two in two days, three hours. I don't know why I did it like that, but okay. Got him. Takes time to get this, teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts to so stay alert and don't let your guard down. Got a big boy in the back. Uh, so. I'm not going to be able to attack both of or two of the same one at one time, and I already know that. Let's see, so I'm just going to split for now. Now I can attack two of the same one. Or this is not going to be a good one. What? That was a decent amount of damage. Gonna be a good fight. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I can see I'm gonna have to kill that thing first. Here I come! Crit, nice. Oh, you run away. Playing dead. Interesting. <laughs> um, can't use my craft right now. Thought I heard my name. I'm not gonna bother with it. Actually, awake. Where are you going, buddy? Get your butt back over here. That <laughs> oh, was not where I need to go. I need to go one more up. I didn't. He's on the edge of the of the arena, I've noticed. Crop muncher. So even if even if I did only have one person, they can't out kill me because both of my characters are doing more damage. Than what they're healing. We're good to go. Which is good. Ooh. Hey, they both leveled up. Yay. That's actually some of the gems I need. Got a dirty carrot. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 my cat meows. Kind of. In my um 
not cat meow meows. <laughs> That's just what they sound like. My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. Teehee, <laughs> it was nothing really. You know, I just remembered Joshua was dead, <laughs> and now he's not. So I'm kind of happy they revived him, and I was thinking that they would. Especially after I found they have to wait till night anyway. I wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Now that we've given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Estelle, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? I don't really want to kill them. We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But, in any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. If the same thing happens again, what will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but... No, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time, you know? After taking a beating like that, I'm sure they'll, they've learned their lesson. See you. Miss Perzel. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. Myself, I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive in the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these creatures just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't, I won't object to your request. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you... Now I had you to come all this way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. Alright, you critters. You'd better count your blessings. <laughs> yon, yon, yon. If we get you here again, we won't. you won't be so lucky. Now scram. Wow. I don't know why I wanted to be on, but I did. Well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? You two are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Hospitality. Not the popular words. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how... Out, we hit the sack. Joshua, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, it, uh, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. <sighs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we should have. We shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. <laughs> Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. With all the time like that, I really began begin to loathe myself. <laughs> it's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. Haha. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua. Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Still, I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years, and I'm confident in saying that I know your strength and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. Now, allow you to just dis I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. Don't even, I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry. I was full. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. 
But you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? <laughs> your, your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around this nonchalant look. Trying to fix everything yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Still, I... Joshua, were, were you able to lay... You were able to lay your bare hands... Sorry, you were able to lay bare your own weaknesses today. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I, I don't know what your point is, but... I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say say anything as embarrassing as that. Aha, I've got a whole lot more where that came from. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright. Now how about we call it a night after all this endless running around, I'm ready to throw. Alright then, have a good night Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. Oh, those readings making my water, my mouth water. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit visit again anytime when you when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. Okay. Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Miss Parzell. I'll definitely We'll definitely be back to take you up on, on that when our workload settles down. Does this mean it's a resting place I could go to? That would be nice. Have more of those. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On, the, on to the next one. Nope, I don't want to fight you. Or you. I really want to do is so this right here is the route I was going at where do you go what is that thing who are those things I think it's tough. What is what it is? Attack guard. Oh god. Um. A critical bonus? Huh? What just? for me. Pretty sure it did. Miss. Piece of cake. Um. Uh, crop muncher, okay. Giant crop muncher, okay. Shining palm. I don't know anything about these guys. Okay. 
that's a new creature. Is that my target? Oh, shit. Damn it. Did it again. <laughs> Bastards. Stop hitting me. Run. I don't even want to fight you. Go away, I'm attacking. Terminate. I think that's my other... Pretty sure this is my other um, thing. His turn. <laughs> this, sir, is going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, uh, I will first use tear on myself. It has done something as well, and I don't know what it did. I didn't catch it. it did it just copy my magic? What the fuck? Can it do that? You have taught and moral. Uh, no, I'm uh, on myself again. I may die in one hit. It's the problem. I'm having gear. If I would have realized I was going to heal Tien, I wouldn't have done that. What is your craft? Your craft is... Art. I want you to move faster. I really do. It, it, it used magic as well, but why? I could bleed again. Gosh darn it. Zero. Great. Aren't. Click speed. You, but you'd have to speed up. Probably use the craft next on her. Um, just attack. I think so. Looking powerful craft. Morale strength. Come on. I'll use a little bit of morale for that. Cause why not? <laughs> Knew that was gonna be me. Knew that was going to be hurt, yeah. Attack. Yes. <laughs> My speed is worn out. I did not realize it wore out like that. Now I need to heal myself. Here I come. That was a lot more damage than what I thought it was going to do. Oh, I think that was it. Yes. Self-destruct? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Not now. What do you mean? Party was defeated. Holy crap! Um. All right, so uh, you're first. I'm gonna actually first do this. Speed you up, and you're gonna first do morale. Come on. Just strength up. And prepare your attack. I was afraid of, so I need to heal. Attack. Go ahead and start doing damage. Let's do this. See if I could do this before my time runs out and no. Because we're already at 24 minutes, which is kind of weird to think about. No. Tear on yourself, please. 
I need to actually get away from it. Soon. Move. You just get away from it. I don't think this will kill, but if it does, I, I want to... Okay, good. So now I'm going to actually start moving it away. I'm even going to move you farther away. Okay, so I think speed up just allows you to move twice as far, doesn't it? That's a pretty big hit. So, art here, you need to heal yourself. Magic definitely seems to be the way to uh, fight this guy. Uh, there's gonna be a waste of magic, but it will do just fine. move you as far away as possible as well. The point of wasting EP on him and it's just going to die. And everyone was far enough away. Good. So how was I supposed to know that thing was going to blow up the first time? Like, there was no way for me to know that. Not sure if any of this actually matters. Oh. I'll do it, why not? I guess I should have been reading this. Well, I needed a nap anyway. Clearly. Oh, I'm just helping train them, okay. This mean I have to pumple them. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode because we're right there at 30 minutes. Until then, I hope you all have enjoyed this um, episode of uh, Trolls in the Sky, and we will see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye.